Oh, hi everyone, it's Bob from Grey Bear Models. Welcome back to the channel. Um, first and foremost, thanks to everybody who's uh, recently joined us. I uh, hope you like what you find. Um, and uh, thanks for all the sub subscriptions and whatnot. Um, you know the score, if you like it, like, subscribe, all that sort of thing down the bottom. And uh, do all that anyway moving swiftly on um obviously we were looking at the um leans forward brings boxing of you uh you know the the ford engine um that's a lovely little kit really it's fairly straightforward nothing difficult about it but um yeah um we'll have a look at that at the bench and and also we'll have a look at the uh, universal carrier and if you've seen the the two title thumbnails you'll see i'm going to do the interaction between the two um i, th I was going to do an unboxing of the universal carrier but the box is so huge couldn't get it on the on the bench and the camera in position and all that sort of carry on so i just went straight into the build so anyway as you will find out Let's get over to the bench, have a look, and uh, see how we've got on. Right, so the assembly of the engine has gone as far as, as I want to take it at this point. Um, quite happy with the with the with the assembly. Um, it's, it's fairly straightforward. Um, the only thing is, there's a number of parts I'm, I'm going to leave for the moment. Um, first of all is is this part here um according to the the um engine kit it goes on the tail end here of the motor now i know that in the universal carrier this is the drive out to the the rear axle um and it, it i'm not sure until i get to assemble the the universal carrier whether or not this part is necessarily um mounted there so I, that will need to be double checked so i just just need to leave that um the other thing i've left off are these two hoses um at least i assume they're hoses they come from i need my pointed stick right they come from get round again okay so they come from this part here and uh they go down into the into the uh, bottom of the um universal carrier and there's a there's a connection there um i think it's it's hoses or something i'm not not entirely sure but obviously i'll have a look when we get there and then the other two things that, that i haven't fitted so far uh, are these two uprights they fit they fit onto the the engine um, there and there and uh, these these two posts here fit to the radi bottom of the radiator and these two hoses fit to the top of the radiator so I'm, I'm going to leave those for now and get on to the universal carrier so give me a few moments want to ch change all the setup and we'll get on to the universal carrier right so the first stage in the assembly is part one so put the two fuel tanks together and the mountings on the base of the hull and uh, a couple of other so that's a foot pedal and bits there for the driver's side and a little hatch cover that goes on the underside so we get all of that done and uh, that's uh, this lot here so the the point is to get to a, to a stage I think where I can now go in there and do um, some primer and then a color over the top um, and I think I'm about there 
the, there's other parts that have got to go onto the floor yet but I think it's going to be better to start loading in the colour and then and then more parts um, I'll have another look through the instructions and I'll come back to you well it's <laughs> one sixteenth scale but um, you know you set, follow the same principle so I've got all of the parts sorted out for that and all of the parts sorted out for that so basically what I'm aiming for is to get all of this lot painted and then we can assemble the bottom of the hull and all the insides painted um, and that then leaves it so that um, once some more is done I can invert the hull and then paint that on the outside in one go I can mask off all the insides so we've got um, let's move this out of the way um, this is a bit of a of a pain really so I've got all of these parts all prepped ready to go I've got all of these parts prepped ready to go uh, <laughs> these parts ready to go um, and the sub assemblies on on the internal side of the hull that's all ready to go so yeah um, next stage get some paint on and then to the next stage of, uh, of assembly so that's the first stages of uh, the universal carrier put the side walls on of the hull um, and as you can see there's bits in there that need to be touched up um, and then the next stage will be to weather this area um, put some weathering effects down try to get some uneven tones on the on the colour of the, the hull itself um, and then um, obviously it's held together with some masking tape while it's gluing so that will set and then we'll get on and do a little bit more so that's as far as we've got so far with the universal carrier um, thanks for watching thanks for listening to me Drivelon, and I'll see you on the next one bye for now